<laughs> Onko hyvä luukki? <laughs> Joo, no. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I'm Fran from Italy. And I'm Seve from Finland. Our channel is all about cultures, personal development and couple stuff. And, and our goal is to help you to create a happier, healthier and more compassionate life. If you are into that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe. We believe that each culture has its own positive sides and the more you can learn what makes other people happy around the world, the more you can learn what makes you happy as well. In this video we will go and ask Finnish people what is in the Finnish culture that makes them happy. So But let's go! Yeah, I think something in the Finnish culture that makes the life happier is the spirit of contribution and volunteering in a sense that a lot of people here volunteer. They want to do for free work to help the others. And I think this is very important to kind of have a life that is about fulfillment. You feel so fulfilled when you get to help others and contribute kind of with your time, with your money, to the community, to your neighbor, loved ones, even for strangers. Autetaan lähimmäistä tarvittaessa. Contributing by helping the people you love or are close to you brings more fulfillment than anything else. You can give back in many ways, for example helping grandparents in yard work, volunteering for local organizations or donating blood. Give more than you receive. In Finland we, we follow rules. Sometimes it drives me crazy, but it's, it also makes life easier. I mean, you know, if you have a rule, then everyone follows it. You know how to how to do things, how to act. Luonteen piirteena on myös se, että se mikä sovitaan, niin se tehdään. Eli, eli tavallaan Suomi pärjää sillä, että Suomi, Suomi saa aika kurinalasta meininkiä. Kaveria ei jätetä. Ei kaveria jätetä ja sitoudutaan siihen, mistä sovitaan, että ei niinkö rikota sopimuksia eikä sääntöjä. Finnish people are authentic and sincere. Uh, we are not so good in small talk, but if we say that it was nice meeting you, we really mean it. And it makes us kind of like um, good friends. If we promise to help you or promise to come somewhere, we do it. So uh, at first we might seem, Finnish people might seem a little bit distant, But uh, once you get to know us, so we are really good friends. Trust is the base of every healthy social relation. Remember to keep your promises and respect others. So be authentic and reliable. When I'm in Finland, I, I feel free. I can make my own decisions and people don't judge me. I mean, okay, they might have, but they are not. They are not saying out loud and then, I mean, people take care of their own business and they let you take care of your own business. We are all different, so sometimes we disagree with others' choices and opinions. Not always we have to understand everyone, but rather than judging, try to accept the diversity. Here when people work, they work, and when they're having fun, they're having fun, so it's not that here people bring the work home or that they are just you know wanting to be somewhere else than they are not you don't stress about things that are not happening exactly now and i think that is exactly the benefit of this that it's easy easier for the mind that you are kind of enjoying whatever you're doing i really like sauna i've studied for the past five years i failed relaxing many times <laughs> so uh, this sauna is is a place where you obviously can relax and you don't have to think. It's a all year habit. I can do it in the winter or in the summer. I can do it with friends or I can do it alone. And it's really great every time. I just uh, enjoy the moment. And if we're with friends, we can, you know, uh, talk about anything. And uh, one exceptionally uh, good thing about sauna is If you have a wood sauna, you can warm the kiwas with uh, wood, and it's uh, it's like a process in itself. Sauna and swimming is something that I love in Finland. 
I mean, it makes me relaxed. I wish in other countries people could also experience. Dedicating time to yourself is the base of well-being. Find a healthy activity that makes you lose track of time and you don't wish to be anywhere else. Be present. Finnish people are down to earth and we have close connection to their nature and my, I myself, I really enjoy being in the nature, doing sports, walking, reading, whatever. The appreciation of nature and I would say like the cohabitation we have with nature. I mean, people go to nature a lot, they spend their free time there and we also take care of the nature. And also, I mean, now uh, with the climate change, it's very important. Suomen luonto. Tämä on hieno, hieno asua Suomessa. Täällä on vuoden, erilaisia vuoden aikoja. Se tekee ihmisen täällä olemisen ja asumisen onnelliseksi. Suomalaiset rakas, rakastaa luontoa. Meillä on meri, meillä on järvet, meillä on tunturit. Eri vuoden aikoihin, aikojen aikaan ne on ihan erilaisia. Me osataan hiljentyä luonnon äärelle ja se on meidän vahvuus. Monessakin asiassa. Niin. <laughs> Meillä on kiva Oi vitsi sun kanssa. Nature makes us connected to our roots and feel one with everything. That's why there we feel calm and peaceful. So spend more time in the nature doing activities or taking care of it. Onko Suomessa kiva elää? So far in the interview we saw that there are a lot of habits, part of the culture that makes Finnish people happy. But there was one more category that was mo mentioned multiple times. And that concerns different aspects of the system that people were able to create along the years in Finland. Every day people use their voice, time and energy to make changes that will actually serve the society's needs and will bring more safety and balance in people's lives. Yeah, and we understand that you cannot change the in entire country probably, but what you can do is start small, for example, from your neighborhood. Use your voice, vote when you can, and do your part to create a better community for people to live in. And here is how this active citizenship made changes in the Finnish culture. The public libraries. That's an amazing system. It gives um, all people access to books and literature and knowledge and it has done that since, since hundreds of years. I think it's a basis of uh, our democracy. You can borrow e-books, you can borrow games and you can go there to read uh, books, magazines and everything. Tai se on 21 tai 22 oppivelvollisuuslaki. Sitä ennen niin, niin tota, meillä oli kyllä kansakouluasetus ole, olemassa 1800-luvulta. Eli siellä jo päästiin siihen, että koulutettiin, pyrittiin kouluttaa ihmisiä. Our educational system uh, is for all. It's paid by uh, taxes. It makes the education available to all people and uh, it, not depending on the background or your parents or the, how much money you have. Especially now, I have started to appreciate the social security we have in Finland. Earlier I have just taken it for granted, but after living abroad, seeing how it works, in other countries, I have really, really loved the way we have had it here in Finland. I'm happy to pay taxes because I get all these good services. We have health services, libraries, I mean the, the roads we have here, <laughs> all these kind of things. She approves. Yes. Meillä on, meillä on tää terveyden hoito on aivan kohdalla. Köyhilläkin on mahdollisuus saada niinku toimeentuloja kattopään päälle. Se on laissa jo. En muuttaisi mihinkään muualle täältä. With this video we wanted to show you how with healthy habits your life can become better, but also the society and the world where we live. We hope you will find useful the tips and values we mentioned in this video and that you will be able to create a happier life yourself. Yeah. 
If you are interested in habits of other cultures, we did this video last week about Italian habits for happiness. Wherever you are in the world right now, remember to stay kind and meaningful in your own beautiful journey. Bye bye. bye.